Belgium to India, Kenya, New Zealand and Germany. Today we have gathered here to discuss about national bird of our countries, important birds, adaptation and habitats of birds, migratory birds and endangered birds. Let's welcome India first to hear about the various birds in their country. Good morning everyone. I am Divya from India. Today I am here to discuss about Indian birds. The national bird of our country is Peacock. Peacock is famous for its rain dance. Peacock look beautiful when they dance in rain by spreading its feathers. Peacock look attractive due to their colorful feathers. The male bird is called Peacock and the female bird is called Peahen. Generally, the life of a peacock is up to 10 to 25 years. Now I would like to share some important birds in our country. They are Indian Rolo, Great Indian Mooster, Great Humble. The Great Indian Rolo are the birds with the bulky and broader wings, with the long head and short neck and legs. The Great Indian are the birds with the long neck and long legs. With the individual stand up to 1.2 meters. The great hornbill are the birds with the heaviest bill supported by the neck muscle. These birds are very important in our country as they hold a great record. Thank you. Oh, that's great Divya. Hi, I'm Hemant from Team Kenya. Now, let us discuss about some important birds of Kenya. The national bird of Kenya is Lilac Western Roller. In Western culture, the Lilac Western Roller is considered as the bird of peace. It was often sacrificed by kings, declaring peace in the land. According to International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, the Lilac Western Roller is of least concern. Let us go to the next word, Coquetto. According to IUCN, seven coquetto species are currently threatened or vulnerable to extinction. Coquettos have coexisted with humans for thousands of years. However, large-scale hunting and land development have led to some friction. Because of very specialized environmental requirements, coquettos have vulnerable to habit loss like logging, mining and agriculture. Let us see the pictures of some other birds of Kenya. This is Valsrangaina farm and this is Kingfisher. Thank you. Calcareus laponicus. It is a migratory bird. It 
has a black head and a white belly. It feeds on insects and seeds. It breeds in wet areas and mountains. The second bird is the European bee eater. Its scientific name is Mirops apiaster. It is mainly found in southern Germany. It is a multicolored bird. Both male and female look alike. It nests near riverbanks. The last and final bird is the meadow pipit. Its scientific name is Anthus pratensis. It is found in grasslands and uncultivated lands. It is a perching bird. It is a brown bird with a brown tail. It feeds on insects. Thank you. Now that's nice Sogan. Now let me shift to a new topic. Adaptations and habitats. I'm going to start with my country, which is India. The first bird we are going to talk about is the Indian roller. The Indian roller is commonly found in the southernmost part of India. It mainly resides in scarf forests, open grasslands, and human modified landscapes. The Indian roller has a specialized beak that helps it to eat nuts, insects, and fruits. The Indian roller has a wingspan of about 45 centimeters and a length of about 35 centimeters. The, in, the next bird is the token. The token is a medium sized colorful bird which is only found in the forests of Karnataka in India. The token has a long, a long strong, powerful beak which helps it to break the hard shells of nuts. It also eats fruits. Thank you. Oh wow, that's very interesting, Sainath. Hi, I am Dinesh. I am going to discuss about the adaptations of the birds in our country, Kenya. The first one is ostrich. Ostrich being the world's largest and heaviest non-flight bird has developed strong legs to sprint so fast and has tough feet to bear the scorching heat of Kenya. The hooded vulture and the white-backed vulture. Being scavengers, they have developed a very strong and powerful digestive system which contain deadly enzymes which are capable of dissolving bones in them. And the last one, martial eagle. Being a predator bird, it has developed strong talons and curved beak which is suitable for its hunting technique. Thank you. Oh, that sounds great, Finish. Even we do have some special birds with special features. Hello everyone, this is Aksha and today I am here to discuss about the adaptations of the birds of New Zealand. As I am from New Zealand, first I want to tell about the national bird and its special features. The kiwi is the only bird to have nostrils at the end of its bill. This enables it to search for the food by propping its long beak into the earth in the search of invertebrates. And the next one is toy. It is a common bird species of New Zealand. It is only found in New Zealand. The plumage is mostly black with the streaks of blue and two white feathers under its neck. Thank you. Wow, Aksha, that's so interesting. Hi friends, this is Tapasya from Germany. Today I am here to discuss about the adaptations of birds in our country. First and foremost, adaptation helps the birds to survive and thrive in all environments on every area of the planet. Three physical characteristics in particular indicate the unique adaptations to the environment and climate change are beaks, feet and feathers of the birds. Now I am going to discuss about the black-tailed godwit and the common cuckoos. The black-tailed godwit are small but beautiful birds with an interesting history. When searching of food, they fly at night to avoid predators with an aerial display. They take long flights and stop continuously to feed before continuing into another flight. The black-tailed godwit has worn many hearts due to its irresistibly stunning appearance. The common cuckoos. The common cuckoos are the medium-sized birds which are well known for their parenting skills. Some species are slender and lean while some are heavier with a large feet. The most interesting fact about the common cuckoos are its strange nesting habits. Thank you. Oh, those are such a cool adaptations and habitats in your country. Let's do a new topic, migratory birds in India. I am Hello, I am Akshra going to tell you about migratory birds of India. What is meant by migratory? A group of birds that travel from one place to another are called migratory birds. There are approximately 350 species that travel to India. Three of them are Rudy Shelter. These are also called Brahmini ducks. These are strong migrators, migrated from Southeast Europe and migrated to backwaters and wetlands. And breeding period is late winter. And the second one is Demonsoil Green. 
this birds got its name from Queen Mary Antoinette and these are the smaller species compared to other grain. Breeding period is late August to September. Siberian grain. These are also called snow grains and these are migrated from Siberia. And breeding period is all winter. Thank you. Wow, Akshya, that's so interesting. It's also very surprising that migratory birds in India are so similar to migratory birds in Kenya. Hi everyone, I'm Satya from Kenya. Today I'm going to be discussing about migratory birds in our country. In Kenya, there are a large number of migratory birds. One of them is Kenya's national bird itself, lilac-breasted roller, which migrates in search of the best food sources in different seasons or in times of drought to the countries Oman and Yemen. According to 2021 census, there are 170 bird species that migrate from Kenya. A few examples are crowned hornbill and scarlet-chested sunbird. These birds have the perfect morphology to fly fast and over long distances. Thank you. Wow, Satya, that sounds great. By the way, I'm Shruti. Now I'm going to say about the migration of birds of my country, New Zealand. White-fronted tern, gannet, and banded dotterel generally breed in New Zealand and then migrate. It is mostly juveniles that leave, crossing the Tasman Sea to feed along the Australian coastline. These birds migrate in winter season. The shiny cuckoo and long tail cuckoo are the birds that migrate after breeding. These birds fly to islands of western edge of Pacific to spend winter. These birds are summer migrants to New Zealand. Thank you. Wow, that's great Shruti. Now we have some birds in Germany. Now I'm Suchendra. We are going to show two more birds of Germany. The first one is Bartel Godwin. This is a bird which is found in Northwest Germany. This bird migrates to other countries such as Saudi Arabia, North America, South America and some other countries. This bird's breeding time is from September to February. Next bird is Pomeranian goose. This is a goose found in North Germany. This is a domesticated bird. This bird migrates through swimming but do not migrate through flying. This bird's uh, breeding time is throughout the year. This bird uh, lays 70 eggs throughout the year. Thank you. Oh, that was very interesting, Sujinder. So, hello everyone. My name is Babesh from Team India. Now, I'm going to shift to a new topic, endangered birds. So, I'm going to talk about the endangered birds of India. So, first, we'll start with the great Indian bustard. The great Indian bustards are tall birds with long legs and a long neck. The tallest individuals may stand up to 4 feet tall. Adult bustards have a few natural enemies such as Egyptian vultures and eagles. So next, we'll move to the Indian vulture. The Indian vulture is an old world vulture native to India. It died of kidney failure caused by diclovena poisoning. Like other vultures, it is a scavenger, feeding mostly from carcasses which it finds soaring over savannas. So next, we'll move to the last and final bird, the black belly turn. So originally as its name says, it has a black belly in the summer and a deep fork tail. It has become very rare in the eastern parts of its range because of the degradation of islands and sandpits on which it breeds. Thank you. Oh, that was so rubbish. Hi everyone, I am Tanish from Kenya. Now, I am going to discuss about endangered birds in my country. Number 1. Abbott Starling. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist mountain forest. Its population is estimated around 2500 to 10,000 and the sad news is that around 750 birds of this species die every year. The next one, Taita apparis. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist mountain forest. Its population is estimated around 300 to 650. And I am very sorry that around 50 birds of this species die every year. The reasons why these birds are being endangered are habitat loss, overuse of fertilizers and many other reasons. Thank you. That's really sad. So again, my name is Sudhi and as I am from New Zealand, I am going to tell about endangered birds of New Zealand. What is an endangered bird? Endangered birds are those that are likely to become extinct soon. 
They may be at risk due to the factors such as habitat loss, poaching and invasive species. The main reason for endangered birds is pollution and the more usage of concrete. If the usage of concrete is increasing, it is being hard for birds to find places to build nests. So the first one bird I am going to talk about is Kia Parrot. Kia Parrots are only natively found in the South Island of New Zealand. They are also called New Zealand Mountain Parrots. Yes, they are Mountain Parrots of New Zealand. The next one is King Shark. King Sharks are large black and white sharks with big pink feet. They are examples of seabirds of New Zealand. They weigh about 2.5 kilograms and length of 76 centimeters. The last one is Kakapo. Kakapos are the heaviest species of parrot in the planet. There are only 125 kakapos according to the latest count from 2014 which makes it one of the rarest birds in the world. Thank you. It was sad to listen. Good morning everyone. I am Usha from Germany. Today I am going to discuss about endangered birds in our country. In Germany, 33 birds are endangered. Some of them are the Great Bustard, Black Tail Godwit and Northern Bat Ibis. The Great Bustard was a bird in the family of Bustard. It is only the member of genus Utis. The Northern Band Ibis was disappeared over 300 years ago from Europe. It breeds in colonial coastal areas and mountain cliff ledges. We can protect these birds in many ways. We should not use more pesticides in farmlands because many birds breed in farmlands. Example, the Great Bustard. We should not cut many trees because many birds lay eggs on the trees. Thank you. We had an enlightening and enriching conversation. Let us make sure we dissolve and make effort to conserve birds in our own countries. Let's also not forget that birds create a very important link in maintaining ecological balance. Thank you everyone.